boys, listen to this. Named after the tourist trophy race on the Isle of Man, the TT's design came about in the spring of 1994 from a design centre in California. Four years later, the first generation TT made its dramatic debut and the nickname Hairdresser's Car stuck with it ever since. Now, this third generation TT is something else. If you know the Audi TT well enough, you'll notice that it has this certain look a certain characteristic. So it is very important for Audi to retain the identity of such icon. That is why you see trademark designs such as the aluminium fill flap, the round twin exhaust tailpipes, the retractable rear spoiler, and of course, most importantly, the silhouette. It is still very TT. The new design language is dominated by straight lines, sharp edges, and a single frame grille. It makes it more distinctive. It is now more energetic and at the same time, a bit more aggressive. This particular car that I'm driving right now is a standard variant. It has no optional accessories at all. It comes with Xenon Plus headlights with LED DRL, LED rear lights, 18-inch rims. You can choose to have the high-tech matrix LED headlights, which has this Tron-like look, which blends really well with the overall design. You know what? I actually like this new look. It has this personality now. Call it a hairdresser car again and I'm gonna virtual smack you in the head. Less is more. That's the philosophy when it comes to interior design. Once you're in here, you'll be able to feel the plushness all over. And also at the same time, you can tell how this car actually sets itself apart from everyone else. First of all, it is a very driver-focused car, so you don't get this central display for the passengers. Everything is crammed into this virtual cockpit, a 12.3-inch high-resolution LED screen. Too bad this car doesn't have the GPS navigation or else you'll be able to see how the map fills up the entire screen. It looks really awesome. Minimalistic is key, so even the aircon controls are fitted into the air vents that resembles turbines of jet engine. Which is brilliant because the entire cabin looks more organized and they look really cool. Other than that, you get really nice Alcantara seats, soft touch materials, this matte aluminium look. It is very premium. You know, I actually have a confession to make. I love this steering wheel. It looks so good. I want to have it just to hang it on my wall. It's nice to hold. Properly designed, so ergonomic, so nice. Now, let's face it, you can't actually fit a full grown adult back there, even though it's advertised as a 2 plus 2 seater. So, boot space, you get an extra 13 litres, which is now 305 litres. But the sloping roof sort of limits what you can put in there. But the good thing is, the seats can be folded down. Running under the hood right now is a 2 litre 4 cylinder TFSI engine, turbocharged paired with a 6-speed S-Tronic automatic gearbox. It generates 230 horsepower and 370 Nm of torque. 0 to 100 in 5.9 seconds, all the way up to 250 km per hour. Well, electronically limited of course. So even with such capabilities, it's able to achieve 6.3 liters per 100 km. It's most cars nowadays. They're so well made. Audi Drive Select comes as standard, so you get to choose from efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic, or individual. So all these modes actually alter the steering weight, engine sound, yeah, uh, engine sound, and throttle response. For now, there is no adaptive suspension yet. Now, safety-wise, we get six airbags, ABS, EBD, EDL, traction control, ESC, and the usual stuff. Now, before I go into the drive, 
allow me to just summarize it. This all new Audi TT is one smooth operator. The throttle and brake are responsive in a very well-mannered, sedated way. Even with a sudden burst of acceleration, you don't feel uneasy. It has this nice weight that goes along with it. A very composed and solid characteristic. The highlight of the car is said to be the steering wheel. It is a progressive steering, just like the Golf GTI and Golf R. It is very quick and responsive. So it is a very good combination of steering, throttle, brakes, and entire car as a whole. When all these come together, it gives you that really nice driving feel. A very good looking premium coupe that can be your everyday two-seater, or rather two plus two to be exact. Just leave the drive select auto and everything is sorted out for you. It can be very quiet and it is very comfortable. A very well-mannered German girl, I mean German car. And if you want it to misbehave, you can just put it on dynamic mode, go for your weekend drive with your mates, your kids can tag along, impress them with your automatic rear spoiler that springs into action at 120 km per hour. Yeah, my kind of family car. And you know what? It parts! So, is this car for you? Well, if you're looking for a fun, good looking and a very well-mannered premium coupe that can be your everyday car, then yes! One big yes! But if you're looking for something naughty, something dirty, loud, that shouts, Hey, look at me! Then no, this car is not for you. If you want to find out more about this third generation Audi TT, do log on to autobus.my. If you like our video, do give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. How do I live without you? So nice. I hate lorries and bikes. How do I ever, ever survive? Yeah, the fellow right next to me must be thinking I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm a bit crazy. Thank you!